All right, let's make another video here. Um, this is just a quick how to install Python on your Windows box. So the first thing you want to do is go to python.org download. and uh, Or if you just went to python.org, you hit the download button up here in the menu. We probably want to install the Windows version if we're on Windows. And there's an x86, which is the standard 32-bit installer, and there's a 64-bit installer. You probably want that 64-bit installer. So we're going to go ahead and download that. All right. That'll take about eh, 15 seconds here. I'll probably just chop out this chunk of the video as soon as it downloads. Back in a minute. And we're back. So we'll go ahead and run this installer. And up it comes. Uh, you can choose to install for all users. That's probably what you want to do. Uh, where do you want to install it? Again, as always, just stick with the defaults. And we'll just stick with the defaults here because yeah, you probably don't know what you're doing with the options. And it blasts away on install. Here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to get this finished and installed and then the idea is we'll do command line environment just like we're on Linux or Mac. We'll open up our Sigwin term windows and try to uh, make Python run. You'll notice that we're using Python 3. We're using Python 2. Um, if you go back to that download page, it's showing Python 3.4 and Python 2.7. The Python 2 execute or the installers are down here below. Um, we're switching and we're using Python 3. I have been using Python 3 in my classes since January. So uh, I guess we'll wait for that to finish and then I'll come back. All right, see you in a bit. Well, it looks like the installer's finished, so we'll just hit uh, finish. Makes sense to me. Now let's go into our Sigwin terminal. My machine's getting too slow. It's time for Ken to look for donations for a new computer. I should probably do some hard drive maintenance. All right. My machine at home is a little quicker on the Windows side. Um, I'm usually using this on Linux, so I don't, don't yell with this Windows so much. So there we go. So now we should be able to just type Python, and there's no Python found. So the trick is, where is our Python? This is the thing about Windows, when we install this way, we need to let Windows know where our Python is. So if you follow the uh, defaults, if you go into the C drive, you'll notice that there is a Python 34 directory in this case. And you'll notice also that that's where our Python executable is. Okay, so we could technically run Python like this: sig drive c python34 python. But that would be painful to do this every single time we're running Python. So we're not going to do that. It's still thinking. Let me kill that. Hmm. What I really want to do is Python minus V. And we'll notice that the Python's installed. Okay, I'll probably cut out that chunk. What we need to do is modify the path in our Windows install. So I'll be back to that in just a second here. All right, we're back. I couldn't remember how to do that in Windows, so I had to go look it up. So here's the way you can do it easily. Just uh, right click on top of your My PC or this PC, and we do Properties. That should bring up uh, your System Properties. We'll hit the Advanced System Settings. And then we're going to, uh, it might come up here, we'll go to the Advanced tab, Environment Variables tab. For those in Spanish, it probably says uh, or something like that, but I've got English. 
And then here you go. There's your system variables and uh, user variables for your user. You could set it at the system level, but I'm just going to set it at the um, user level. Be very careful when you're editing your path variable because you could really mess up your system if you overwrite too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this directory, okay, C Python 34. So I'm going to actually select that, copy that, and then over here in the variables, make sure you're not selecting what's already there. I'm going to paste that, and in Windows we separate it with a semicolon. Okay, so. You can see down here the paths are separated with semicolons. So we'll save that. We'll save that. We'll save that. That should apply. I'll exit out of this shell. Go back into this shell. And it should work just fine. My machine's still acting really slow. And now I should be able to go Python minus V. And there you go, Python's installed and running from the command line without having to type the entire path to the Python executable. That'll be it for now.